Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Experiential Field Podcast. Um, I'm Alec Vicari. And for those who don't know, we have rebranded. The podcast was previously called Roundtable Conversations, Dis- Discuss Leadership Conversations, which is still the aim and focus of this podcast. But I thought we that we did a disservice to ourselves of not really introducing the psychological concepts um, that we've learned through the study of the human mind. Um, and that's a discipline and focus that I, I really enjoy and I really wanted to apply to the audience to, to give you my best platform. Um, so the experiential field, for those who are not aware, it, it was in theory introduced by Carl Rogers. Um, and simply he stated that we live in an objective world, but we all perceive this world through our own tailored lens. Um, and so how we actually perceive objects, relations, events, they're quite tailored to our own emotions, um, which can really turn an objective world into a very subjective realm. Um, Thoughts, emotions, rationalizations. And I really enjoyed this concept. And the reason I wanted to implement it into the podcast's title is to showcase that we're here to recognize, appreciate, and respect the autonomy and the individualization of of each um, with the common goal to apply concepts and tools that can further develop ourselves, um, who we are as friends, family members, leaders, peers, what have you of the relationship is how we can become better, how we can self-actualize. And so today I wanted to discuss the theory of ego development. Ego development was introduced by Jane Lovinger And the concept really discusses the maturational growth um, through experience as we go from adolescent to late adulthood. And there's eight stages overall. I want to discuss a couple with you um, to kind of give you a foundational knowledge of this theory and then go into how we can apply it to ourselves and and to the interpersonal relations that we have. Um, So I mentioned ego development recognizes that through maturation, we grow um, as a person. And the way we do that is we become more recognizable to our internal complexities. We recognize them. We appreciate them. We become empathetic to others. And then we start to appreciate the autonomy of self, which can be very difficult when we live in a world that subjects one another to normalcies right? Um, And these confined definitions of what is normal, what is adaptive versus what is maladaptive. Um, And so we kind of put ourselves in this box. And those who are out of the box, who who don't follow the protocol, we can, we can deem indifferent, we can deem insignificant. Um, And I would like to argue that I would like to state that we are all unique, and, and we should really embrace what makes us who we are, not what makes everyone else them. Um, So the early stages of the ego development theory really discuss the impulsive self-protective concepts, right? And this really goes into when when you're at that adolescent age, maybe entering your early teens, your early 20s, you're coming into the world, having to become a contributive member to society, Um, You're very impulsive to your actions, very reactive to what is happening around you. There's not a lot of goal setting, not a lot of self-investment, self-improvement. I mean, trying to get, you know, stable grounding, trying to understand what your roadmap is, um, at least for the next day or two. Um, They go into those self-protective measures of ulterior motives. How can I get reward? from the external world and how can I attain capital gain? Um, Right, wrong and different, that's where we really all begin, right? Because we we want to understand who we are. Academic curriculums don't really do a great job at at showing us this canvas to where we should paint who we are. And so you go through life, experiences, relationships, setbacks, failures, successes, and you start to learn of yourself through all those things. Um, One of the greatest and most strenuous parts of the journey of self-love is really recognizing those experiences, those mistakes, and and seeing what lessons you can take with you that help 
shape who you are today. And ultimately that's what ego development capitalizes on. And so when you go to the far right spectrum to where you are experiencing um, significant maturation, you go into the self-aware and then the conscientious stages where, where you really start to internalize your emotions, you recognize them, and then you also recognize the exceptions to the rules and generalizations that maybe society has placed on us, right? You're breaking that barrier. You're stepping outside that box and you're really recognizing who you are and amplifying that, exemplifying it. And then you go into the individualistic and autonomous stages and really you're accepting differences of others. You're accepting the autonomy of yourself and those around you, which can be ultimately the most challenging thing that we do as, as humans, right? We're very judgmental naturally. Sorry about that. We're very judgmental, right? We, we force others into our own paradigms, our own boundaries. Um, and if they are different, we maybe deem them insignificant while battling our own internal um, struggles of trying to understand why who we are or why we are who we are. I mean, so the ego development theory really allows you to put those normalcies, those subjective barriers aside and to really value the individual, um, their strengths, their weaknesses, their mistakes, their setbacks, their fears, their failures, their aspirations. And when you do that, you start to really learn, actually learn who that individual is. And you actually become an adaptive mechanism for them, a, a true support system. And as a leader, as a friend, as a family member, that's really what we want, right? Um, so applying this tool set really goes into communication, empathetic listening, and recognition of our unique differences. Uh, set aside the ego, set aside the concern of the external perceptions, harness what you believe true and what those that you care about believe right for them and help pave that, that roadmap for them. Ego development the maturational journey and growth to going from a egocentrism type to an is, is, is existential perception and recognition and respect of internal complexities and atomic value. Thank you guys.